I'm uh, Ray Tickner and I've come from Stallbridge with my family. Um, we've come here today to look and see what's available for our seven-year-old son, uh, Ben. My name's Kate Reid and I uh, am from Diverse Abilities Plus, which is part of Project My Time and Project Hangout. Uh, my name's Jude Allen, I'm the project manager of The Remix, which is a theatre and dance project uh, in Bournemouth and Weymouth. We're here today to promote the remix to young people aged 11 to 19 years. Um, the remix offers young people with disabilities and without disabilities the chance to work with professional artists in dance, theatre, circus and film. Uh, we offer um, activity-based short breaks um, to various parts of the country. Um, we do multi-sports sports courses at Blanford in Dorset. Um, we offer short breaks to North Norfolk, which has a wildlife theme as well to it, um, seal trips and the like. Um, we do uh, a week in the New Forest using Kelshot Activity Centre, again, nature trails, that sort of thing. And we also do um, short breaks on the Isle of Wight um, at Gurnard Pines Activity Centre, alongside activity weekends with PGL at Osmington and also at Portland as well. And uh, it, it's, it's all activity based, it's all lots of fun. Um, children all experience lots of success and, uh, and they have a thoroughly good time. Uh, we offer every holidays apart from Christmas programme of activities, arts and sports activities from drumming to kayaking to trampolining to mask making um, and we keep programme varied across the county. Some of them are two hours long, some of them are whole days. We do outdoor stuff, we do forest school, we do um, team building, we do all sorts. <laughs> We offer sessions around the county of Dorset, um, short breaks, sessions for the whole family to be involved in, supporting the family so siblings can come and play, the child with a disability and parents can have a break while being there and seeing what their children do. Well, this is the first time that we've um, sort of investigated um, short break um, things that are available for short breaks, so it's all quite new to us. So this is brilliant that everything's all in one place and we can get all the information we need all in one go. We have no criteria to join Coping with Chaos, so we take children with any sort of impairment. We, um, have, we've been lucky enough to have a wonderful team leader who's been with us for years and years. She's a teacher herself. Um, so we have some very experienced staff. And 
we, we train them in um, understanding disabilities, what it's like to have certain disabilities, child protection, um, different behavioural strategies, manual handling, that kind of thing. Yeah, all the training, all the staff that we have are experienced in special needs sports provision. They come from either an educational background or from a care background and uh, there isn't a need or a, 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 a child issue which we haven't worked with previously and uh, the fact that they're experienced means that the provision that we provide is always first rate. Our staffing ratios are normally one to two, sometimes one to one. Um, but always very good and we have a, a, a live night as well who, who stays awake for any issue overnight. We can cope with a wide range of uh, impairments. Our, our staff are very well trained and they come from care backgrounds. So ranging from young people with perhaps a, a, a slight learning disability to those with quite profound needs. Obviously with the mandatory training is uh, positive response training, uh, total communication, equality and diversity, epilepsy and emergency intervention um, and additionally staff trained in gastrostomy, jejunostomy, uh, higher levels of physical intervention and anything else that's specific to any young person. So far, yeah, I mean, we haven't actually looked at everything yet, but everything we have seen has been very interesting and we can go away and look at all the information that we've got to be able to decide what will be right for Ben. From the feedback I've had from the families we deal with, it makes all the difference between coping on a normal life, really. Uh, most of them say they can't manage without some sort of short break. Some of them love being there with the children and meeting the other families. Some of them want to go with providers who don't have the families there. Uh, but everyone says it's a necessity. From our point of view, we see the children visibly uh, come along really during the short breaks. We run a life skills programme alongside it. Um, they gain social skills, they gain skills in terms of dexterity as well with the sports that we cover. Also in terms of um, uh, experiencing success as well, which is um, a massive part of self-esteem. And, uh, and they always leave happily. And, and when we see the parents pick them up at the end of the week, they always look refreshed as well. I think a short break makes an enormous difference. It enables those families to cope with everyday life. Having a child or young person with disabilities um, is really a 24-7 job. So just to have those, you know, those few hours off on a regular basis means the world and it, and it, it really means that those, those families can enjoy life rather than, than feeling that stressful. Short breaks, it's really important that young people get the same opportunities as their more mainstream peers. So basically young people get to the point where they need to do things away from the families and the families need to do things without the young person too. It's a natural thing that all young people go through that you want to do things that are more age appropriate and you want to do things with your friends. And if parents can have a break knowing that their young person is having a good experience it makes that high value break. Mm -hmm.